So today's video is a review of my Hermes Kelly 32 bag and this is the Retorn style. There's two styles for the Kelly bag. There's a Cellier and the Retorn. The Retorn style doesn't have stitching on the edge, um, on the outer edge, so it gives for a more slouchy, casual feel on both sides. However, the Cellier has stitching on the outer edge, making it very structured and more of a formal bag. So I actually prefer the Retorn style because it's more casual and easy for me to wear. So here's what the Kelly 32 looks like once worn. Um, for size reference, I'm 5'4", so this is where the bag lands on me when you use the long shoulder strap. So I think the bag is quite large, and I wouldn't go any larger for practical reasons. Um, so yeah, I think this is the perfect size. So this is a size 32, and 32 denotes the width of the bag across here. This bag is available in five different sizes, ranging in size 25 to size 35. So mine being at 32 is right in the middle, so I think it's a good size bag. So my bag has Swift leather, and the great thing about Swift leather is its ability to hold a bright colored dye. As you can see, this is a very iconic Hermes orange color. It's very bright um, and vibrant. However, the main downside to Swift leather is that it's quite delicate. Um, even if you get small scratches, you have the ability to buff it out with a soft microfiber cloth. I haven't found a case that I've gotten any scratches on this, but then again, I am quite careful when I carry this bag. So that is like the main drawback. So that I would say is the main drawback, but as long as you're careful with your bag, I think the whole point of having a nice bag is the ability to be able to use it and not just stare at it in your closet day after day. So I have the Palladium Hardware here, which is actually like a silver color. It's available in two different colors, Palladium and Gold. I like Palladium because I feel like it's once again a little bit more casual. This Kelly bag also comes with a long strap, and if you'll notice, all the Kelly bags from 1980 onwards come with a strap. Before that time, it was all a custom order, so I really like the fact that they include these long straps. It makes it more casual and easy to wear, so you can be hands-free when you're out and about and just have your bag to the side like such. For reference, I'm five foot four, so this is where the bag lands on me with a strap. And of course, the strap is detachable right here, so, you can hook it either on the front part of the loop here or on the back, um, so it's all up to your preference. And I have accessorized on this bag a Rodeo Gris Gris. This charm is available in three different sizes and I have the size medium. And I purchased this from the Hermes store in South Coast Plaza. So these Gris Gris are made with lambskin and there's a seven inch drop on the chain right here. So the Grigri is about five inches in width and it has a seven inch drop on the strap right here. The Grigri is made of lambskin and mine has the rose colored body along with the blue trim as you can see here. So now every Hermes bag comes with a lock and key combination. So right here is the attached lock and in here are two sets of keys or two keys. Um, one spare one I guess for you to leave at home just in case. So yeah, let's open up the bag and see what's inside. So once you open it up, you're gonna see the inscription Hermes Paris made in France. And of course, when you purchase these bags, they will have this plastic coating on all the hardware. However, I removed mine because I read that if you leave it on for too long, you're gonna get a sticky residue. So it actually makes more of a problem than um, a solution really. So my best advice is just to take it off, use the bag, be careful. Um, but yeah, just enjoy the bag. And then of course on here, it's also inscripted with Hermes Paris, nothing on the back. Now, once you get to the inside, the inside is coated with the entirety of the Swift leather, so it is scratchable. So if you do have a scratchy wallet with like hardware on the outside, I'd recommend not using it or use like a bag insert to protect the inside. So my wallet right here is this Louis Vuitton, so I don't have to worry about it being scratchable because it's a very... Um, it's a quite smooth leather, so yeah. So this bag actually holds quite a bit on the interior. I haven't tested it in terms of um, how much it will actually hold out and about, um, but yeah, it can hold quite a bit. There's two pockets here on the side, and there's also one zippered pocket in the back. 
On the inside of the zippered pocket is this suede material, which is more durable, so I'm glad that they included that feature. So now I'm going to show you what the bag looks like once it's all locked up. So oftentimes in like sales posts or blog posts for the Kelly bag, you'll see it closed up like such. I think it looks really pretty like this all closed up. However, when you're out and about, it's not that practical unless you're just like carrying your phone on the side and you want to carry your bag with your wallet and such. Um, but yeah, so. So this bag also comes with its little rain jacket which is um, this little plastic thing. You can just unfold it and put it over your bag like so. So if you're ever caught in a downpour with this bag, rest assured that you do have this little um, handy rain jacket, like such. I haven't used it yet because I haven't taken this bag out that much and yeah, not many options for it to be in the rain. So the inside is quite roomy. I wouldn't have a scratchy wallet in here because I feel like it would scratch up the bottom even though no one can really see it. But yeah, there's two side pockets in here. There's one zippered pocket in the back. So yeah, that's basically an overview of the Kelly bag. Um, I did used to carry this bag a lot more before um, I gave birth to my daughter because right now I'm just carrying diaper bags and like large tote bags. And I'm sure as my daughter grows up that I won't be carrying this anytime soon because I don't want it to get scratched. Um, but definitely in the future, I'll start carrying it more because I do miss carrying this bag. It's such a pretty color and it's very soft. And yeah, I do love this bag a lot. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I haven't done a bag review video in quite a long time. Um, I have a bunch of other bag review videos that I did a few years back, so feel free to check those out. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.